Okay. Hi, my name is Marikar and I make um, beautiful flowers from gum paste or sugar paste. And this is my sixth um, video. So the last video I made was about how to make um, the gum paste or sugar paste, um, which I use to make all the flowers that I make and um, including uh, this video. Um, so if you haven't seen that uh, video yet, um, you may go ahead and, and check that out um, later. So for today, I'm going to um, uh, show you how to make a um, basic rose. Um, it's going to be non-wired. I'll be using um, toothpick for the stem of the flowers instead of um, the wire. And um, here is the rose that I made um, earlier. And um, I colored it green because red, pink, uh, white are just too common and um, green um, not so. And um, I really like um, the green color. And as you can see, I use um, the to speak to um, uh, for the stem. Okay. And I would like to show you how um, flexible um, the uh, leaves are, the petals. Sorry. So um, it's very flexible, yet um, it really holds its um, shape. So um, the recipe is already posted, check that out. And um, um, I would like to say thank you to all of my 480 something uh, subscribers. Um, thank you all uh, very much. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And if you're watching this video and you haven't um, subscribed yet, uh, please remember to hit like and um, subscribe, okay? So, um, uh, let me show you how um, I make this uh, basic rose, okay? Okay, so here are the things that um, we need to uh, make this um, basic rose. Of course, we will be needing um, um, silicone mat, um, rolling mat. And uh, we need um, this uh, rolling pin, uh, ball tool, uh, a small pole tool, this is optional, and uh, scissor as well, you will need this, and um, brush, and uh, water uh, to stick um, the petals together. Of course, you may opt to use um, the edible glue, but um, as for me, I'm happy with um, water, and um, the we need the paste, of course, and um, uh, gel uh, food coloring and this is uh, what I use to um, achieve this color. Uh, I mix uh, just a little bit of um, green and um, yellow uh, colors to um, get this color. Okay and of course um, we need the toothpick for the stem of the petals and uh, we will also be needing a um, plastic spoon um, for um, to dry the petals So all of these things that um, uh, We need to make is um, you can buy it at um, your um, baking store And we will be needing um, cornstarch as well um, just uh, for um, the sticky situations Okay, so now that everything we need is um, ready, let's um, start coloring um, the paste. So what I have here is um, pink, I'm sorry, green and um, yellow. I'll mix that um, together. So you don't need to use um, a lot of um, color, a lot of the color. You just need uh, very little and it'll go a long way. This is what I do, like this. It should be enough. And um, knead it to uh, mix, okay? So after um, kneading it, uh, this is what I have now. This is the color that um, I have now. And um, we are ready to make um, the, ba the bud. Okay. So for the bud, um, get a small piece of um, gum paste, the colored um, gum paste, 
um, just for size um, reference it's almost um, it's a little bit bigger than um, this um, ball tool okay so of course you can uh, make something uh, bigger or uh, smaller okay so roll um, the gum paste into a smooth uh, ball like this so this will be the center part of the flower um, so um, so we will be making something like this this is the center part of the flower this is the bud which we will be um, attaching the uh, petals okay so this is what it looked like and if um, this is your first time to make um, flowers I suggest that you make um, the bud um, overnight just to make sure that it's um, uh, totally dry because if you might uh, be having a problem when you're going to attach um, the petals it might um, if it because if uh, this is not dry it might uh, fall off the um, stem or the toothpick uh, for me I've been doing it already for quite some time now so um, I, uh, I can avoid that so um, I don't need to uh, dry the um, the bud okay so um, now that you have your um, uh, paste um, roll into smooth ball get your uh, toothpick and uh, stick it right in the middle like that okay and um, secure the bottom by pinching it like this okay so it shouldn't um, fall off like this okay now um, get your small um, ball tool and press it in the middle. Um, you can skip this if you don't um, if you don't have this and uh, just uh, continue to use your um, scissor to cut it like this. Cut um, three. Um, equal parts as equally as you can of course but if you're like me that's a real challenge but it's okay so you will have something like this okay and um, use your thumb and your index finger to um, separate them and of course um, use cornstarch when it's uh, sticky okay so Press it with your fingers to thin it. Okay. Now get your um, foam pad and your um, ball tool to thin your petals. These are your center petals very small okay so this is what it look like it looks like after you thin them so um, so one one of the petal will be the center uh, part will be uh, the center part of the petal so get your brush and uh, dab it with um, your edible glue or water in my case I always use water so do this so this will be my center um, center petal and uh, do this okay and um, use your um, ball tool or your finger to uh, push it push it in um, in the middle okay
so that's the center petal now push this to the left and to the right so the center petal shouldn't be um, higher than um, the two petals okay sh they should be almost the same height so push it down if it's too high like that okay you have now something like that and um, push it together like this and um, use water or um, edible glue to brush um, the side so that they will uh, stick together okay so now we have something like this okay so your bud will um, look uh, something like this okay so the first um, petal uh, first uh, layer of uh, petal that you will attach it will start here to cover this okay okay so now that we're done uh, making um, the bud uh, let's uh, now make the petals and um, I forgot to tell you that I've um, uh, we will be needing uh, petal cutters and in this uh, uh, rose I'm going to be using um, two sizes of um, petal cutters this is um, small and um, medium so uh, if you have uh, petal cutters you know, most uh, most likely you, it comes in uh, different uh, uh, sizes so uh, use um, the size that um, you want to uh, use you can even use just one size but uh, for this rose I just uh, I would like to use two sizes and if you and um, this is the size of um, this is the size of the cutter um, petal cutter it's uh, one and a half inch and almost one inch okay so for the size um, ju just use uh, whatever um, you have you can make your um, bud uh, bigger or uh, smaller if uh, needed Okay, for the number of petals, I'm going to be using um, 19 uh, petals and um, 6 medium and um, the rest are um, the small size, okay? And of, uh, I'll be making uh, uh, 7 uh, layers of petals. So the first two layers, um, it will be uh, 2 petals each and uh, 3 and 4 petals. Um, layers um, uh, the, uh, I'll be using three petals each and uh, five and six petal um, five and six um, layers I'll be using the uh, medium size uh, petals and uh, the last layer will be um, the small petals so again uh, you can just use uh, one size petals one size uh, petal cutter Okay, so roll your paste as uh, thin as you can. Uh, you should be able to see through um, your um, mat, your silicone mat. Okay, and um, uh, the first thing that I would uh, make uh, on the with the petals is I will make um, the last uh, the last layers because I want it to. Um, be uh, dry and have um, the shape okay so um, that's the first thing that um, I do to make um, the last layer first because um, I want it to be dry um, by the time I need it to um, to attach to the uh, bud and uh, it has already um, a shape Okay, so okay, so cut um, the numbers of um, petals um, that you need. In this case, um, um, I'm using um, three three petals each uh, layer. So I'll be using I'll be needing um, six 
so nine uh, nine petals okay and um, after you cut your petals get your uh, uh, foam foam pad and your bottle and frill on the side on the sides okay like this it should be really thin okay and also I forgot to mention that I um, I use um, veiner so if you don't have a veiner you may skip this so uh, since my petals are quite small I, I will I put the petals right at the center okay like that so do this with all the petals that you need okay and just um, press it okay so after um, using the veiner or uh, if you don't have veiner if you uh, you're going to skip that um, get your petal and your spoon and do this to dry this is how you're going to dry it so you will have um, the shape and um, pinch it here pinch it together like this okay this should give you the shape like that okay so do this with the last um, with the petals that needs to have um, uh, the shape which is the in this case and the last five uh, six uh, seven layers so three three the, the last three layers so nine petals okay so this is the outside petals that i made first because um i i want it to be dry and be able to hold it um shape when i attach to the um, petal to the flowers or to the uh, bud okay so now that uh, we're done making the outside petals let's make um, the inside petals okay so let's make the inside um, layers of uh, the petals so we will be making um, 10 uh, petals the small petals small um, cutters okay and we will do the same we will cut it and uh, make it make the sides very thin and uh, we will use the veiner okay so here I have um, 10 uh, petals which is uh, I already um, uh, thinned using the vein uh, the this ball tool and I've already pressed it uh, between the veiner to get to get these um, natural looking lines so now um, we're ready to attach the petals. So this will be the first layer, second layer, and the third layer, and the fourth layer. Okay. So let's brush them with uh, water or um, um, edible glue. So you will brush it here on at the bottom and on the side, both sides, kind of like a um, V shape. Okay, so do this with all of the petals. So now um, we're ready to attach them. And uh, this is the first layer. And put it like this. Like this. If you need more um, edible glue or water, just use your brush and uh, okay so the first layer and second layer should be uh, tight like that okay and it's not going to be uh, a lot higher than the uh, main bud okay like that Make sure that it's um, secure like that. 
and now for the second layer and you will start here where you where you have the gap okay oops i need more water okay so two layers of um, two petals each and the next uh, two layers we will be using three petals each okay so this is your uh, first two layers done now um, let's attach the two the third and fourth um, layers okay So start where the gap is, like that, and um, just try to um, evenly divide the three. Oops, I want it to be a little bit um, lower. Or, I'm sorry, higher than the last layer. Just a little bit. Okay. Now you have that. Now for the last layer of the three, the small size. Okay, like that. Okay. And if you need more edible glue okay. so this is very easy to make and if you didn't um, get it right the first time don't be discouraged just do it again it's only practice okay so so now we're done with the um, inside petals and we're going to attach the petals that has the um, a little bit uh, shape you can also use your um, finger to create this shape like this just pinch it on the side because this uh, paste is very flexible so it's you can easily do this and it doesn't break okay now let's attach the rest okay so now we're ready to attach um, the petals that are uh, dry and has um, slightly cupped shape and uh, we will be placing it um, a little bit lower than um, the center or a little bit lower than the last um, layer of petals okay like this so as you can see it's a little bit uh, bigger okay so i have already attached um, the last two uh, layers so this is what it looks like the bottom okay so if you're a beginner i think this is the easiest um, way to start with instead of um, making the uh, three petals four petals and five petals each uh, layer three three layers each um, sorry three petals it's uh, each layer is um, very easy to do and i'm going to show you how um, how to place um, the petals so you just place it here in between just like that okay and one more here and another here okay and then you adjust it 
make sure that it's um, it's attached to the um, to the um, last layer. So this is what it looks like after all the petals are attached. And uh, let's leave this to dry. Okay. Like this. So um, that's how you make a beautiful basic rose like this. And um, I hope you learned something. Uh, you learned something from this video. And um, thank you for watching. So again, I just want to show you how um, flexible the petals are. Okay. Okay. Uh, so thank you. And I'll hope to see you on my next uh, video. Bye.